Everyone, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Start with the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to make a motion to have the clerk run the meeting. Support. Motion by uh, Treasurer Corning, seconded by Trustee Harper. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Brings us to uh, item four. Uh, oh, roll call. You got to call the roll. Gotta ask yourself to call the roll. Supervisor Fountain, absent. Uh, Treasurer Horning? Yes. Clerk Chopu here. Trustee Colliane will be late. Trustee Harper? Here. Trustee Germain? Here. Trustee Petrucci? Here. Uh, move just to item number four. Uh, approval of the meeting agenda. So moved. Support. Support. Uh, moved by Treasurer Horning. Uh, supported by Trustee Petrucci. Any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Just item number five, call to the public. Anyone wants, wants to come forward, uh, address the board, please do so now. Looks like nobody was willing to step forward. Move on to item number six, approval of the consent agenda. Move. Support. Moved by Trustee Petrucci, seconded by Trustee Harper. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Moves us to item number seven, uh, applicant. Uh, for Site Plan 544 and PD Amendment 439A, the Imagine Theater. Uh, if anybody would like to come forward to the front table. Generally, we would have Trustee Coliani give a brief update as our, rep is, our liaison to the Planning Commission, uh, but being Zeke's a little late. Um, Manager Wickman, you want to give a brief update? Yes, just briefly. Uh, you have a uh, uh, recommended motion there. The actual site plan uh, for Imagine Theater has already been to the Planning Commission, was approved there. Uh, what's before you tonight is uh, uh, a requirement to approve the PD agreement based on the conditions of approval that the Planning Commission had given. Uh, so not, not, not for site plan approval. That step has already been taken care of. Uh, provided a, a, a most recent concept of the site plan uh, that shows some existing buildings in the proposed theater. Uh, the rest is uh, conceptual until there's uh, uh, an actual site plan uh, proposal later. Uh, with that, if you want to introduce yourself and add anything. Hi, my name is Ross Gellant. I'm project manager for Ramco Gershenson. Uh, first, I want to say how excited to come back here after so many years and be able to bring a, a first-class theater to Harlan. Uh, it's fantastic. So I mean, I'll be happy to go through the site plan, materials, uh, the PD amendment for the signage that uh, we need to talk about. I mean, this is a unique situation. The, the theater itself has three front sides, and the main door faces the parking lot. So that was all the whole reason of the, the signage issue that came up. Yeah, I think many of us watch the Planning Commission meeting or have been up on it. I'll make the motion that we can have any more discussion. I'll move to approve Site Plan Application 544 and PD am Amendment 439A to amend the wall stand sign standards for the Heartland Town Square PD development and integration of future amendments as a sixth amendment to the Heartland Ramco PD agreement and Heartland Town Square Pattern Book based on the following findings. One, the Township Board has determined the proposed amendments to the wall standards accommodates a major tenant in the area within the Heartland Town Square PD where a major tenant was not otherwise originally planned and may not have located. Two, the Township Board has determined that the amended sign standards offer flexibility for a major tenant building when located on, with three road frontages within the PD. 
Three of the township boards determined that the proposed major tenant would be a benefit to this PD as well as the township. And four, the Planning Commission has uh, reviewed the proposed PD amendment and recommended approval of the amendment in its January 12th regular meeting. Support. Motion by Treasurer Hornet. <laughs> uh, support by Trustee Harper. Any discussion? <coughs> Questions? The only question I had was if, if we uh, get the uh, approval of the blessing, I mean the township approves this motion tonight at the township board level, <coughs> what is the proposed construction schedule? Uh, it's the, they're planning to start in spring is the, as soon as the weather breaks. That's the game plan right now. I just would like to ask uh, James to point out for our people at home exactly where the theater is going to be. That, that might be a little bit overwhelming, but that's... Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of imaginary buildings here, uh, but right now the existing Meyer is shown in the, in the northeast corner of that. Uh, Big Boy is here. Taco Bell is here. This is the proposed theater uh, and parking areas. Uh, in the, there's roads going around on both sides, or all, on three sides, as noted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any further questions? Motion on the floor. I would like to thank the uh, Planning Commission for their efforts in, in the multiple meetings they had to uh, discuss issues of importance to the township, including traffic issues and the signage and other things. I think they did a really good job. Okay. Motion on the floor, then. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. I would imagine. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> great job. Good job. Thank you for coming to the Heartland. My pleasure. Okay, that will move us on to item item 8A, uh, liquor license application process. Manager Wickman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Clerk. Um, uh, we've been through this a few times now. Uh, there are two quota licenses the township still has for uh, liquor licensing. Um, and the process as adopted by the ordinance is that the board first would uh, post give notice that it's accepting <laughs> applications for uh, liquor licenses for a defined period of time. Uh, you, and then the process is reviewing. Once we get a complete application, there's a staff review and review by other agencies. Uh, that's a very detailed application, including uh, uh, detailed financial information. Uh, the staff reviews that. Uh, the board has a, a subcommittee it set years ago uh, to review those as well and bring a recommendation back to the board. Uh, this first step is just simply to uh, provide notice that we are accepting applications in compliance with the ordinance. Uh, the, the period of time defined uh, was in a recommendation that came from the administrative uh, committee uh, based on uh, the uh, we do have one uh, party who has demonstrated interest in this uh, in a license, um, and we know of no others at this time. Uh, in fact, the last two times that uh, we did this, uh, where, where there was a known interest, uh, nobody else applied at that time either. Uh, so you could, um, uh, with the motion that's uh, recommended there, uh, you could post a notice, accept the applications over the next couple of weeks. As soon as we get a complete application, we we'll start the review process and have it back to the board for consideration. I move to direct the clerk to publish a public notice of intent to make a new liquor license available for applications until Monday, February 27, 2017. Support. Motion by Treasurer Horning. Seconded by uh, Trustee Germain. Any discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Brings us to item number 8B, a resolution for SAD 200 revised assessment roll. We'll be turning this over to Director West. Good evening. 
The SAD 200 project uh, has been completed and we have the revised assessment role based on the uh, restoration of the properties or participating property owners in this project. Um, the resolution before you recognizes the, the uh, change orders that were signed by the property owners to exceed the original assessment amount in exchange for uh, an enhanced restoration. Um, the, the preliminary numbers that we used for the initial assessment role included uh, topsoil and seed application and many of the homeowners requested uh, sod restoration and other minor uh, lawn restoration uh, including minor landscaping and whatnot. So uh, we had change orders signed by the property owners recognizing that their assessments would go up um, and this amendment is, or this resolution essentially recognizes the revised assessment role. The project has been completed. So I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have with regards to that. I don't have a question regarding what you said, but I have a question for Manager Wickman. Why is this considered a resolution number four? Uh, this is the fourth resolution in the special assessment process that we've done for this particular special assessment. Uh, I, there's a number of them that starts the process, and then when you finally confirm the role, uh, this is the next, the fourth one in that series. Now a question for you. Um, Absolutely. Yes. Did you find that the customers who we're speaking about here that wanted the additional restoration activities completed, were they satisfied? Uh, the majority of the customers were satisfied. Um, any dissatisfied customers, um, I would say it was probably um, more uh, associated with some improvements that they may have desired that were not part of this project. But yeah, the majority of customers were satisfied. Um, again, they, this was a proactive or approach by the board to um, uh, permit the homeowners. This was not a mandatory uh, that they had to connect. These were people that elected to connect under this um, special assessment, understanding you know the the what was included in that. I should say. Um, and, and everybody kind of recognized, um, and I hope the board recognizes, that this project uh, was approximately 20% under what it would have been had we plugged in an engineer. Um, Public Works to act, acted on behalf of the homeowners as the project manager. Um, under normal conditions, when a homeowner does decide to connect to the sewer, they're not required to hire uh, an engineer or have an engineered print. So. Um, ultimately, we were able to save all these residents a uh, considerable amount of money by overseeing the project ourselves. I'd like to make a motion to to um, revise the special assessment role for sewer improvements regarding the special assessment district 200 foot. Resolution number four. Support. Motion by Trustee Germain. Uh, support by Trustee Harper. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Oh, roll call. Aye. I'm sorry. I'll have the clerk call the roll. <laughs> Trustee Petrucci? Yes. Clerk Chofu? Yes. Trustee Germain? Yes. Trustee Colleen, absent. Supervisor Fountain, absent. Treasurer Horning? Yes. Trustee Harper? <coughs> yes. Motion carries. We're just uh, item 8C, water pressure, uh, water system pressure reducing valve engineering proposal. Director White. <laughs> Thank you. Um, our recent water reliability study uh, called out the need for a pressure reducing valve on our uh, water distribution system. The issue we have is the water system essentially east of US 23 
uh, is currently experiencing abnormally high uh, water pressure. Um, this water pressure we've been able to sustain because our infrastructure was relatively new, but it continues to age, and um, this is a proactive effort to to minimize any consequences with uh, associated with the the high pressure. Um, it was called out in the 2010 water reliability study, and it was highlighted as um, one of my recommended top three capital improvements in the 2015 study. Um, we are. We get calls frequently from the business owners complaining about how high the pressure is. We have uh, residential developments with individual pressure reducing valves on their inline uh, water service, and we're seeing that those are failing at a, uh, as they near the end of their useful lifespan. And as development continues down uh, east of US 23, it's going to behoove the, uh, the township water system to have this pressure reducing valve in place. So what you have, the proposal you have in front of you includes uh, both the design engineering as well as the construction observation. Uh, generally speaking, the DEQ has to permit this particular improvement and it is not something that they would permit uh, in-house staff to oversee. So this is a one project that will have to be fully engineered for, uh, to the turnkey system. Um, we are working with a prefabricated pressure reducing valve enclosure which will reduce cost and uh, we have a preliminary site picked out which would be uh, essentially in front of the Walden Woods complex uh, and the edge of the right of way within the right of way for M59. Um, it'll be in line on the existing water main. So, But what you have here is the the complete engineering. The $49,000 includes both design and construction observation. Even though they're two separate steps, um, at this point, basically, um, I will uh, uh, oversee the design engineering with HRC. We will get to the point where um, a, a proposed contract will come back to you at, after it is put out to bid. Um, that's when the construction observation would basically be used. I hope I covered that well. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to, to answer. The $175,000 estimated cost, is that the cost of the valve and engineering? That is a complete turnkey package with engineering. So right now all we're asked to do is to authorize the engineering to proceed? Correct. We will put it out to bid. Um, I'm not requesting any authorization for the, the structure itself until we see what the bids come in. And since this has been a, a priority, let me back up. Since we've known about this since 2010, why didn't we take, and this was probably before your time, but why wouldn't we have corrected this sooner to extend the life of our underground pipe? Um, I certainly don't want to speak on behalf of uh, anybody who, who predates me. Um, the issue has not, um, I don't know how to say this tactfully, it, it, it really isn't an issue. We're trying to address it before it becomes an issue. Our infrastructure has been able to sustain these pressures, um, but again, it, it's, it's aging every day and uh, every year. Um, and we just want to address it now. Um, I couldn't speak on behalf of the, the my predecessors. And how high is the pressure? I mean, are we within the ranges that are allowed by MDEQ? Um, we're getting close to where we may exceed. And, and what happens is our, our static pressure generally, um, at the far end, we've had as high as 90 PSI static. Um, but the fluctuations will certainly see triple digits, and that's where it becomes an issue. So what is the timeline that HRC has provided to complete the design services? The design services, um, we anticipate that the design services would be completed within uh, 90 days. Um, I would say the biggest hurdle that I, I can foresee with this particular project would be the DEQ permitting. 
not because I'm concerned that the project will be approved, but rather their lengthy timeline internally, which I'm not privy to why it takes so long, but I can tell you it does. I'll make a motion to approve HRC's proposal for design and construction engineering of the pressure reducing valve for cost not to exceed $49,000. I'll support it. Motion by Trustee Harper, seconded by Trustee Petrucci. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Move us into item nine, board reports. Uh, we are in the first meeting of February. We'll start with uh, Trustee Colian, who's not here. Trustee Germain. I would um, respectfully request that uh, Manager Wickman address the highlights of Winterfest uh, during his uh, manager's report, but uh, as uh, speaking as a member of the Hero Board, I do want to indicate that uh, the Heartland Teen Center um, made uh, over not, almost $900 from our efforts at the uh, running the hospitality tent, and it was, uh, again, for the second year in a row, a very good collaborative effort between the uh, Hero Board and the teens that are many of them who attend the teen center itself so we appreciate all of the support from the uh, community in that regard uh, would you like me to give a report now or during my manager's report uh, whatever pleases the board uh, I'll leave that to uh, the guy in charge um, we can cover that in the manager's report yeah okay, okay. anything else nope trustee Hopper no report Mr. Petrucci? I don't have a report. Clerk Chokiu, I have no report. Treasurer Horning? Um, I um, met with Troy and Larry Fox quite a while back talking about the farmer's market and our exposure over at Ore Creek Middle School and how we didn't, we, the revenue was about half and we, had some, we lost some vendors moving over there and how to uh, make the market come back. We started in 2004, and we had a great market up on 59. So Larry Fox um, suggested their ordinance review, the Planning Commission Ordinance Review Committee, look at the ordinance and to see about getting us on commercial property again. And um, the ordinance, I met with their ordinance review committee. They asked me to come in and give them a little history. And um, that committee determined that we definitely, their um, all in favor of us becoming an event just like Heritage Days or Memorial Day and at the same time make Winterfest change the ordinance to add Winterfest because it's not in the ordinance at all either and move the market into the uh, same arena as the other events so they suggested that um, the board can move faster than the Planning Commission you know it has to go through so if I bring it to the board maybe on the next agenda and have it you know, a consensus that yes, we think that's a good thing too. We can start looking for a good property to be on in the spring because it's time to start getting our applications out and stuff. If we can't get the program going, we're not going to be functioning this year. So that was their suggestion, and I just thought I'd bring it up to you guys, and I'll have something on the next agenda. That's okay. Take a you short break. Pardon? You have a report? I have no report. No. <laughs> that will take a short break. Come back for our uh, uh, manager's report and information discussion.